Let's say your earbuds support fancy codecs like LHDC or LDAC. Should you really use them when you're gaming? Today, I'm going to show you why you should probably stick with the basics. And let's get started right now. Selamat pagi! Good morning everyone, Kenneth here and welcome to my latency comparison video of SBC, AAC, LHDC and LDAC. Now, I put a lot of work into these kinds of videos, but honestly, not a lot of people are watching because it's a very niche thing, it's completely normal. So I would really appreciate you to watch all the way through, hit the thumbs up and also subscribe for more contents of audio and tech, help with that algorithm and thank you very much. Okay, I promise we'll get to the numbers in a minute. But before that, I wanted to tell you that I've done a similar video on Aptex Adaptive before. So if you want to continue watching, I'll link it down below. And before we start, let's talk about the basics first. So for the earbuds, I'll be using the Edifier Neobuds Pro that supports every codec that we're gonna test today and pair it to my iPhone 10 for AAC and the Poco X3 Pro for everything else. The game is gonna be PUBG Mobile. Then for videos, I'm gonna test the YouTube app, something that I believe we all use on a daily basis. Lastly, please know that latency varies depending on many factors, your connection quality, wireless interference, the earbuds itself, the phone and the operating system to plays a role, particularly my budget Poco X3 Pro isn't really good when it comes to latency, but still, I think it should give you a good idea of how these codecs compare to one another because we'll be testing on the same phone basically. Also, since this earbuds has gaming mode, we're going to test that too. So without further ado, let's check out the first set of tests, shall we? As a baseline, we have around 300 milliseconds of latency on both SBC and AAC. On the Poco X3 Pro, you will need to turn on gaming mode to achieve that, while on the iPhone, you don't have to worry as much. Strictly talking about gaming mode latency, this is not amazing. 300 millisecond is what you will get with most normal earbuds without gaming mode paired to devices that support Bluetooth 5. You still notice some lag, but it's not too annoying. And for me personally, I can still game without many problems. But what happens when you use fancier codecs like LHDC? Well, check this out. Oh boy, is this codec heavy. I mean, it literally doubled the latency from 300 to 650 milliseconds. Gaming mode doesn't help either, and in case you're wondering, I did record a sample when I put the LHDC settings into optimized for low latency, but the result is still the same. I think it's got some heavy processing to do, that's why it brought so much latency. And just to let you know, at 600 milliseconds, you cannot play any game. 
you'd be better off switching to SPC. The lag will be too much and unbearable. So in contrary to what the name suggests, low latency, high definition codec, I would suggest you to stay away if you're going to do anything remotely latency sensitive. But I think it would be fair to give LHDC another chance when I'm able to test it on different earbuds paired to a different phone. Not that I think the Snapdragon 860 inside my Poco X3 Pro isn't powerful enough, but I'm hoping things will be better on flagship devices with a Snapdragon 888 for example. Anyway, let's check out the LDAC numbers now. So things are much better here. At 400 milliseconds, well, you still won't be playing shooter games, but I think for other genres, you will be fine. Though I still recommend you to switch over to SBC because once again, not only gaming mode does not have any effect, but also you will be draining more battery with these higher res codecs. And I repeat again, on both LHDC and LDAC, the earbuds will drain faster. So it's a heavier codec and for most of your gaming use, you probably won't notice any difference anyway in the audio quality. So this is why I said stick with the basics, use SPC or AAC. I'll talk about the exact numbers on my Neobuds Pro review, so stay tuned, I'll link it down below when the video is available. Okay, gaming aside, let's check out how these codecs fare when it comes to watching videos on a YouTube app. Count me a little surprised here because the latency was better on my Poco X3 Pro with gaming mode on. And for some reason, it seems like on my iPhone or iOS in general, gaming mode on Neobuds Pro does nothing. Now, if we take a look at LHDC results, Honestly, I haven't seen these kinds of numbers in forever. I've been latency testing earbuds for two years now, most of them on SBC, AAC, or Aptex. None of them, literally none has this much overhead. Like we're talking about over 200 milliseconds of latency here. You probably won't notice it as much because 200 milliseconds is still quite low, but let's give LHDC the benefit of the doubt here. Maybe it's my mid-range phone that's not cutting it, or maybe it's the earbuds. We'll have to wait and see as I test more earbuds with more phones. I'm sure we'll find the answer. So all the more reasons to subscribe, right? <laughs> What's interesting to me is none other than LDAC. Again, it's unaffected whether gaming mode is on or off. So don't care about that, but the numbers quite consistently beat AAC on my iPhone 10 or SVC on the Poco with gaming mode off. This situation is better than a gaming test, and kudos to the LDAC team at Sony for developing a high-res codec without much overhead. This is the result that I want to see 
going forward. In any case, this is still the first ever latency test I've ever done with LHDC and LDAC, and I noticed that the Neobuds Pro uses LHDC V2, while in my phone, the latest standard is LHDC V3. So I don't know if that will improve the situation, but I'm hopeful here. So please look forward to more deep dives like this in the future, and thank you so much for watching. I'm Kenneth, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.